Well, mushy, mushy chat. Oh, konnichiwa. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you had a, a wonderful dinner tonight. A little bit of uh, delicious bat soup, maybe to help celebrate the occasion. I know we're a week into this thing, and <sighs> I've just been hearing constantly that it's just a case of the sniffles. Oh, it's a just, just a case of the sniffles, Jim. You need to calm down. Nothing's happening. I mean, sure, there are 60 million people under quarantine. It's spread to 17 countries. Mongolia, Hong Kong, North Korea. They've all shut their borders. Kazakhstan shut off transportation. Russia has closed off uh, the land entrance between itself and China. But it's not a big deal. Multitudes of airlines are refusing to do travel to or from China now. Google, Tencent, Facebook, multiple corporations with uh, offices in China telling employees, stay home, don't go to work. It's not, it's not worth it, bro. But it's not a big deal. Just a case of the sniffles. I, I remember the, uh, the tragic cold case of, uh, what was it, 2017. The super sniffles, it was called when they locked down half the United States because somebody sneezed in Tennessee. I think we all remember how that turned out. Months and months of lockdown because people were uh, chewing everywhere. Now, I had planned on streaming tomorrow, actually, to celebrate a special number, but because these these uh, statistics are jumping all over the place, I kind of backed myself into a corner. I wasn't going to do it until tomorrow, but I was like, well, if it goes above, if it goes above a certain threshold tonight... We'll do a little bit of a catch-up stream. We'll talk about what's going on with the Wu flu, what's going on in communist China, why it is the head of the World Health Organization wants to go on a gay date with the president of China. Have you seen this, by the way? I've never seen a man lust after another man so much in my life. If the head of who could have been born a Chinese woman, he would be bearing the progeny of, uh, of the president of China right now. Oh, he loves that guy. Oh, I'm talking super, super loves that guy. China's, uh, watching his press conferences for the last two days now about how much he loves China, how well China's doing, how great the things China's achieving are, how they've got everything under control, bro. Nothing to worry about, just a case of the sniffles. But we did fuck up. We were supposed to put up a warning that told people, hey, hey, high risk, high worldwide risk, but we put it at moderate because we're such bros. We're such fucking bros. Now, the CDC came out today telling everybody, hey, wait a minute. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no new cases in the United States today. Everybody, let's celebrate. But a little addendum to that teleconference they had with the, the press that they were giving out earlier today, about three or four hours back. They kind of forgot to mention, or maybe it slipped their mind, that yesterday was 110 potential cases. Today, it's only 96 potential cases. So when... When they act like we're all in the clear, what they really mean is they tested 18 people. They've got 96 other fucking people to go. 96 other people spread across 26 different states. So maybe the CDC needs to back up a little bit on that optimism. Just a tad. Just just a tad. Oh, you know what? I need to change this. We need to update to the new background. Oh, there we go. Now, I'm not saying me magic, but come on. I know, Shanghai, oh my god, that's in Shanghai, it's that Wuhan, it's the goddamn Umbrella Corporation, Corona Raccoon, come on, all the signs are there, I think we can all see what's going on right now, I think the, the, the energy of the universe is alive again, <laughs> Sargon and the Kekarinos might have murdered Kek, but that energy is still there and it's reinvigorated itself, it's substantiated itself. It's made itself corporeal, and it's spreading across Asia. Couldn't write a script this good. It's like a survival movie. What the fuck is going on? So let's let's jump right into it. Let's let's take a look at the new numbers. Where are we now? Survey says, oh, we're fucked. Right now we've got seventy-eight hundred, well, seven thousand eight hundred and eleven confirmed cases worldwide. With 12,167 suspected cases. Vanna, turn those <laughs> turn those little letters around. What does that say? 170 fatalities. 
1,370 in series or critical condition. 124 treated, 17 countries reporting cases, and every single fucking region of China is now infected with the Wu flu. Now, these numbers are interesting for a host of reasons. Yesterday it was 6,000 infected, so it's gone up about 1,700 today. Went up 1,400 yesterday in the epicenter in Hubei or whatever it is. Yesterday was 824 new cases. Today, over 1,000 new cases. It's picking up momentum. It's steaming ahead. Fatality count is rising. And again, let's see. Between treated and released compared to fatalities, that KD ratio is not looking so great. 170 killed, 124 living. I, I don't know what's going to happen to those other 7,800 people that are dealing with it right now. But uh, not looking good. Suspected cases up. 4,000 from yesterday. I mean, I don't know how they're going to test 12,000 people, but I guess they're going to have to. Isn't it strange? For the sniffles, that is. I mean, remember, Eugene's taught us all, this is nothing more than the sniffles. The flu is much more dangerous. Isn't it strange how they're in such a desperate move right now to try to create multiple hospitals with thousands and thousands of beds on top of their pre-existing medical infrastructure in a city of 11 million, in a city of a mil, uh, 11 million like Wuhan, how many fucking hospital beds do you think there are? And I mean, they were jumping on this right away when there were just a few hundred cases. It's almost like the Chinese government knew something terrible was coming down the pipeline. Maybe they thought, maybe they, maybe they sat back and thought, oh wait a minute, that growth curve, <laughs> you know, that 1,200 percent uptick in a fucking week. Let's compare Corona Chan to uh, to uh, little Miss SARS. Now SARS took, what, six to eight months to infect 8,000 plus people? But our little Corona Chan's accomplished that in a week. In fact, by tomorrow, more than likely, our little girl's going to probably have infected, I'm going to guess, throwing out a speculative number, just based on the fact that we're always above about 1,300 a day. You know, even if I was going to be conservative about it, I'd say 9,300 people tomorrow. 10,000 if it keeps its growth curve. So we've we've gone past SARS and infections. Uh, I, ca I can guarantee you that. Even if this thing plateaus tomorrow, we've kicked SARS' ass. MERS, I don't even see you in the rearview mirror. You're eating dust in the background. you got to keep up, fatty. What are you doing? Now, I know a lot of people are looking at that fatality ratio... They're saying, what's going on? Come on. Come on, we need... <laughs> we need we need a little more... Uh, a little more... Uh, suffering here to make it um, compelling. It's like everybody's, everybody's sitting back and waiting. Well, you know, there are some factors to take into consideration here. In fact, uh, I, I think the story of the 10-year-old... Now, this was a Bloomberg article talking about it, about a family that had been infected, five of them. And they insisted their child be tested. Now... Why is this so interesting? Because it was published in The Lancet, and the child didn't present with any symptoms. Completely fine, healthy, no fever, nothing. They tested, they did a chest x-ray, what do you know? Walking pneumonia. Now, I would find it strange, because this disease seems to kill anybody above the age of 35, and doesn't really target anybody under that age, at least for killing, that we've got, you know, when you're looking at this, even when you look at the case of, uh, it was either France or Germany, where you had a Chinese woman come in, infected one of the workers, then three other workers get infected. I mean, there's a delay. There's a lag here. And it, I, I think it's very targeted to a demo. Now, I've heard speculation that Asians are much more affected uh, mortality-wise than uh, white people or black people or whatever. I don't know. Pure speculation. I couldn't tell you if it's true or not. But what I can tell you is these numbers are starting to catch up. And the sicker people get, and the more critical the condition they get into, and the farther it spreads, the more deaths we're going to see. And it's going to start, it's going to start arcing up, just like that infection rate. But it's, you know, it's behind. you got to give it a few weeks. you got all these little typhoid, I can't call them typhoid Marys, really. Uh, should I call them Wu Changs? Is that, is that what we're dealing with? A bunch of infected people that don't show any symptoms. They're asymptomatic, and yet spread the disease. They don't even know they're sick. Little little preteens running around the countryside getting grandpa and grandma so sick they end up dying. What is that going to look like 
as things continue onward here. I don't know. You tell me, chat. Oh, we've got so much to go through. <laughs> I I I kind of put this together a little bit fast, so some of the screen caps and stuff that I've got uh, queued up, I don't even remember what they are. I I don't, for the love of uh, life of me, know. Okay, what is this? What is this? Let's find out what this is. Oh, have you built your protection fort yet? There we go. No girls allowed. This is what this is what the future of Zoomers is going to look like. It's going to be no boomer no boomers allowed. By the year 2021, only eight year olds are going to be left. Eight-year-olds in hazmat suits, trying to figure out how to get Fortnite to work on a phone. The battery's dead. The power's out. There's no clean water. There's no food. There's no medicine. They're all just sobbing uncontrollably because they don't know what to do because mommy and daddy and grandpa and grandma are all dead. They're behind their little... They're behind their little fort. Oh. Now, I'm not sure if you guys were aware of this, but there's some shocking... Shocking amount of racism out there. Terrible, terrible things. I've been hearing a lot of complaints about bat soup. People saying, hey, that's not fucking funny, Jim. Okay? <laughs> Stop making bat soup jokes. In fact, I had uh, a certain individual today get very offended about bat soup jokes. Now, I'm not the one coming up with this dumb shit. This is the stuff that China's trying to sell you. All right, let me remind you, the Communist Party, or party in China is trying to convince you Somebody was so curious what a bat's asshole tasted like that they started a fucking pandemic. That's not the theory Jim goes with. I don't think it was rim-jobbing bats that started this. I'll tell you what my theory is once we get a little further along, but this still is floating out there. But just terrible. Oppressive racism. <laughs> Maybe you saw this. There's a video of a, 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 a Chinese Instagram thought. I don't know who the fuck she is. I love the title of the article. It's such a cuntish thing to write. Why haven't you died? <laughs> Why aren't you fucking dead yet, whore? Chinese bat soup influencer whose gruesome dinner shocked the world in wake of coronavirus breaks her sentence or er, silence. In an apology she made on China's microblogging site Weibo, she wrote, "Sorry everyone. I shouldn't eat bats." Well, that should be just the fucking starting assumption, right? Like, did you really need to consider that? You need to think on that a little bit? Should I eat this bat's asshole or not? Huh, let me think about it. Might be delicious. <laughs> I'll never know if I don't give it a shot. I gotta dig in. I gotta I gotta dig in. Let me crack them open like a chicken. Give it a little liquoroo. See what it tastes like. I shouldn't eat bats. Could you imagine that's your fucking reputation? You'll forever be known throughout the world as a chick that had to actually say, you know what, on second thought, I shouldn't eat bats. It's a bad idea. But this anti, anti-Asian racism is just fucking off the charts. It's not just bat soup. You sick fucks in the chat that are making all these horrible soup jokes at these innocent Chinese people. It's also, it's also happening in Canada right now. Quite the educational PSA campaign taking place. Ontario School Board warns that coronavirus concerns veer into anti-Chinese racism. If you don't let these little fuckers sneeze on you, you're a bigot. You'd better let little Chang cough on you, or I'm going to call the racism police. In fact, I've seen four articles basically going over this. Now, let's just back up a second and remember, what are the ones that closed their fucking borders again? Oh yeah, Hong Kong, that's not white people. North Korea, that's not white people. Mongolia, that's not white people either. Seems like Asians are paranoid of Asians right now. Telling me I shouldn't wear a mask and trying not to get sneezed on is somehow equivalent to being racist is insanity. Don't let yourself get affected for fucking virtue signaling points. <laughs> what, what kind of clown world shit is this? Oh no. No, you've got you've to let them just sneeze. Oh, let them sneeze all over you. Oh, get the, purge the racism from your body with a fever of 105. No, I think I'll uh, be called a bigot in my P100 mask, in my fucking Merv suit. <laughs> Fuck these kids. I'm going to be in lockdown quarantine myself. All right, they're not coming near me. <laughs> just keep that shit away from me. 
It's always a Canadian. So he's got to pull that shit. Now, I think maybe the funniest example of uh, all this anti-Chinese racism that's taking place right now is coming from perhaps the most unlikely of sources that you could imagine. Now, I think what's going on here is they got so cocky, so fucking arrogant from always winning Plague Inc., from never losing a fucking round, from fucking everybody's game over, that this is an article that came out today and it has to be intentional. It has to be. Bat Spit Coffee is a hit with Madagascar consumers. The Jakarta Post writes. I think, I think fucking Madagascar is, like if I had to be honest, I think they're trying to troll China right now. I, I, this is, <laughs> they're basically shitting in their face. Oh, oh, China, are you consumed with a bat plague right now? Well, over here in Madagascar, we're eating, or I'm sorry, we're drinking bat spit coffee. Fuck yourselves. <laughs> we don't give a shit. We never lose. We shut those ports the fuck down. Oh, that is some amazing shit. Why today? Why would they, why today? Why today would you release Madagascar? What are you doing? Why today? With all the ch the anti-Chinese racism. Which is just rubbing salt in the wound? <laughs> what? Uh, they're just shitting on them. It's, it's about up there with Denmark. Denmark made a fucking edit of the Chinese flag with little coronavirus symbols instead of stars. And China flipped its shit. It couldn't handle it. Now here's little Madagascar doing it too. <laughs> just. Just shitting all over him. Oh, just mean. It's terrible. But remember, it's just a flu, bro. All right, you see all these pictures? Those are the sniffles. When you fall over because you can't breathe anymore, sniffle alert. Personally, every time I've gotten a, a mild cold, I've taken a header to the floor face first. <laughs> Everybody I know has gone through this scenario once or twice in their life. You sneeze a little too hard, and the next thing you know, you're vomiting up blood and convulsing with a verbal seizure on the floor because your temperature's like 120 and your brain is melting. <laughs> Remember, all those old people, they're dying. They're dying because they're fucking old and they're weak. So if you want to protect your community, start start arming preteens. This is the point we've reached in China. One of the interesting things out of this and we'll get to the propaganda and some of the uh, narratives that are getting pushed forward right now. But uh, a lot of these images that are circulating on social media coming out of China, a lot of communities aren't putting up with the shit. They're barricading themselves off. They're putting up bricks and boulders and blocking off roads. People are going out on patrols. There are unofficial checkpoints now that are even more severe than the official ones because they're not using a thermometer. It's an eight-year-old pointing a rifle at your head. Now, I'm not sure what the sign says, Maybe it's talk shit, get hit. Who knows? That kid's been standing guard so long, he's fallen asleep standing up. That's what I call discipline. And of course, if you make it past him, further on down the road is Grandpa. So, Little Chang, armed with his rifle, in case you somehow bamboozle him and sneak by. Grandpa's down the street, ready to challenge you to martial arts. I love this. Sitting on a fucking throne in the middle of the road. Come and get it. I'm ready. My Wu Fu is better than your Kung Fu. Prepare yourself. But it's not even that. It's not even that they're just blocking off their roads and their communities. They're locking you up. If they think you're from Wuhan, if you've traveled to Wuhan and you've come back to a community, or if you've had contact or a relative that, uh, that uh, lives in one of the infected zones, I guess you could say, well, this is what's going to happen to your fucking apartment. They're going to come by and they're going to put fucking notices all over the walls and the door that says, infected, uh, don't talk to, don't come by. Those are chains and padlocks. They lock this motherfucker in and then tape the door <laughs> with warnings not to have any interaction with them. And if you think the chains aren't effective enough, just grab some fucking steel bars and weld them in place. We're not letting anybody get out of here. And maybe you're thinking, well, fuck it. One or two apartments is infected. The whole building needs to be condemned. All right, we'll do that. <laughs> Let's just start boarding up entrances to the whole fucking building. So as you're driving through the countryside of China, 
past Wuhan to one of the outlying communities. You're going to be greeted by eight-year-olds with uh, assault rifles. Or, I'm sorry, long guns. Grandpa Chang with a fucking spear. And then you're going to see boarded up houses. This is like some kind of post-apocalyptic game. This is a fucking video game is what we're watching right now. With the most, maybe this is mo like the most elaborate ad that's ever been created for PS5 and uh, Xbox Series X or whatever the fuck they're calling it. They're so, the graphics are so lifelike. You wouldn't even think that it's not real. <sighs> but you need that protection. You need that protection for a reason. Because these motherfuckers are doing horrible shit. Coronavirus infected are trying to spread disease by deliberately spitting at healthcare workers in Wuhan. Why? <laughs> Why would you do that? You know, I'm trying to imagine being a doctor or nurse, scared shitless, because I've seen enough videos of these people getting on a bus to go into the infected city. Their fucking family members are crying. Everybody's all fucked up about it because they don't think they're going to come back alive. And then you get to a hospital, and some piece of shit spits on you for no reason other than he wants to just be a cunt about it. Now, I, I have a solution to what I do to a patient like that, but I can't say it on YouTube because my channel will get banned. But let's just say that it would be uh, a severe spitting on people. And I know some of uh, you, you're going to hear people say when they read an article like that, it's the Daily Mail, it's bullshit. Uh, it's the Daily Mail, it's bullshit, or this is a fake story, fake news, fake news. But there are videos of this happening. Like uh, this. <laughs> Just walks in there, starts hacking up along on motherfuckers. No reason to do it, other than he's the world's biggest fucking cunt. What the hell, man? I mean, I would not want to be in a quarantine city and pull shit like that. That's a great way to get yourself killed. That's a great way to get an angry mob to hunt you down. Now, I have heard speculation. No, that's not a hospital. It's a bank. I don't know what the fuck it is, but I do know what that guy's doing. He's intentionally taking his mask off and coughing on people. So the if he's going to do that, you know, start coughing on nurses or tellers or whoever the fuck they are, I don't find it so far-fetched to believe that there are patients spitting on fucking doctors. What kind of backwoods shit is that? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'd be so pissed off if I was a doctor and I went through that shit. It's just going to spread the disease more. Of course, that's not going to be uh, not be much of a problem, I guess, if they crank up a few more of the crematoriums. A man from Wuhan talking about how serious the situation is. One crematorium cremated over 20 bodies per day. The government is still covering it up. People don't know much about the real situation, etc. The reason he chose to share in an audio form instead of text is because text is detected and removed. So apparently this is some insight from somebody inside Wuhan that's saying there are crematoriums working overtime, burning bodies. Now, I bet you anything if that is true. And again, it's I, I can't corroborate that. I can't tell you if it's true or not. But if it were true. Then, uh, what do you know, those official tallies probably are bullshit. You know, there have been a lot of stories that have leaked saying uh, people have bodies they need to be picked up, but the families are being shamed into dealing with themselves. Crematoriums are working overtime. Uh, people are just, it, it's a bad situation. And I think this kind of brings me to one of my main points watching from the past week. And I think you've probably noticed it too if you've been paying attention to this. There was a lot of news coming out of China for about the first three or four days. Even through their censored internet, there was a lot of shit coming out, even through their social media platforms and other things. It is getting much, much quieter. Now, there are a few videos that pop up here and there that uh, people are getting out there, and there are a few posts that pop up here and there. But for the most part, they're clamping down on that shit. Instead, what's being presented to you is really a threefold strategy, and I think this is the PR angle they're taking. I think this is a propaganda they're going with. One is the unity angle. Have you noticed an uptick in the amount of videos? And I've seen this from almost every news outlet and from uh, quite a few blue check mark accounts where it's people in their buildings shouting uh, uh, Wuhan Jiao, uh, 
uh, you know, uh, carry on Wuhan or whatever the fuck it is. But it's like the same two or three videos over and over again, getting posted day after day after day. Then you've got uh, Z or Yi. I'm just going to call him Winnie the Pooh. You got Winnie the Pooh going around talking about how they're going to do all these great things together. They're going to build these hospitals. They're going to be on the front line. Unity, 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 unity. There's no discontent going on anywhere. And yet in the background, you've got pictures of people blocking off their communities, armed with weapons, being hostile to anybody they think might be infected, kicking them out of taxis, uh, pulling guns on them, beating them up. I mean, there, there are videos of people getting attacked in the streets just because it's speculated that they're related to somebody or they're coming from Wuhan. But this unity angle, this thing is getting pushed really fucking hard. Uh, another one, uh, uh, you know, of this kind of multifaceted approach that's going on right now is the it's just the flu. The Eugene thing is really taken off. If you look up coronavirus and then flu and look at the last 24 hours of news articles, I guarantee you're going to find at least 10 to 20 hits of almost every article saying the same thing. Boy, the coronavirus sure is scary, but do you know what's scarier? The flu. Oh, golly gee gosh, the coronavirus might be dangerous, but you know what's more dangerous? The flu. Now, I'm not sure why that approach is being taken, but it is. So you've got China clamping down on people putting out information. And I mean, this this isn't even, I mean, this isn't even speculation. You know, the, the initial reports about the disease that came out right at the beginning were ones that cir circulated on social media from doctors. And they got shut down. They got arrested for even talking about it publicly. I mean, we know this is how China operates, the social credit system. We know this is how they operate when they go after people that say anything bad on social media about the country. It's just, it, <laughs> if we're going to argue over that, I don't know what to tell you. It should just be an accepted fact. That's how they operate. So it's the, uh, we're so strong, we're so unified. Hey, the flu is much worse. That's that's another big one that's going on right now. And what's the other one that I kept seeing that's just so fucking stupid? That's just so goddamn dumb. I, I, I'm i blanking on it. Now, I'm sure it, it will pop back up into my head. But we've got other things to talk about. Uh, we've we've got other things. Oh, oh, a little bit of a spike there. A little bit of a spike there. Hopefully my stream didn't go tits up. Uh, F and chat. Oh, hold on, i got to wait for chat to catch up now. Chat, are we all right? Has my stream gone retarded or are we okay, chat? I don't know. There's a bit of a delay. I'll wait for you, chat. Quick <laughs> spit on them. <laughs> Yes, uh, oh, here we go. Here's another one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. It's raccoon with two C's, not not one C. Do you think we give a shit? It's close enough, asshole. <laughs> it's just, it's not, your, 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 your memeing isn't spelled correctly. Okay, Eugene, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Call the fuck down, buddy. Okay, where were we? We got past the crematoriums. We got past all the burnt up dead bodies. Well, let's talk about this. Airfare. Now, I don't think this is fucking unreasonable at all. Coronavirus outbreak, passengers refuse to board a flight with Wuhan travelers in five-hour standoff. <clears throat> Again, this is an article that came out yesterday. So it's clamping down more and more as time goes on. But even yesterday, they fucking refuse to get onto this goddamn plane with these people because they don't want to die. Nobody wants to die. There's a rush right now on masks or masks, like N95, and just anything people can get. People are hoarding them. Uh, oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, is it, is Eugene attacking? Eugene might be attacking me right now. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, well, we'll, we'll see. Oh, boy, everything's going tits up. China's coming for me. Ah. Uh, I think it should be fine. Let me just double check. Ah, oh, god damn it. Uh, it's giving me some warning saying it's not, it's not, uh, stream is not going good. So I don't know if that means it's shit or not. I hate this new fucking interface. I hate it.
Chat, you're gonna ha you're gonna have to help me here. Things are going poorly. You know what? I'm just gonna refresh. Well, no, if I refresh it, everything's gonna go tits up. It's all right. All right, we're good. Yeah. So uh, there's no way in fuck that I'm gonna go down to a plane with these people. So it's communities all over China are going through this. Nobody wants to fucking deal with it. It's slightly retarded to try to present the unity angle. When you can see people pulling guns on each other, beating each other up in the street, fighting with police, locking down buildings, locking down apartments, uh, kicking people out of taxis, that was a video. In fact, I, I have that video somewhere. I'll play it a little bit later on. But everything's getting shut down. Everything's getting... Just shut it down. We've gone into shut it down mode. I mean, <laughs> Hollywood especially is about to get fucked straight up its ass. China shut down most of its movie theaters in response to the Wuhan coronavirus. It could have a massive repercussion on the film industry. Oh, terrible. Oh, the poor film industry. Oh, whatever. What are they going to do? How about you get fucked? How about you get fucked? How about you get fucked right up your ass? <laughs> oh, you know it's serious now because Hollywood's involved. They're going to be very upset about this. They need they need that money. They need those dollar dues. And with all those, what is it? Most of its movie theaters across the country shutting down. Which makes sense. If it's in every single fucking region of the country, of course they're going to do that. <laughs> of course they're going to shut it down. Oh. Fuck Hollywood, chat. You are correct. Fuck Hollywood. Fuck Hollywood right up its fucking ass. But let's get to the really interesting stuff. I tried to say, again, uh, short-term stream. I'm sorry. I know. Yes, t tomorrow was going to be the big day. We surpassed SARS and everything. But there are some interesting events that have happened. Remember this. Now, there were actually, from, and, and now I'm hearing there's even more. But So we had a biological uh, laboratory located at the university, which was nine miles away from the Hanan Seafood Market. We had the Institute of Virology, which is 20 miles away from it. And if you remember in the previous streams, I talked about the Canadian couple. Canadian couple that were smuggling stuff out. This happened in the middle of last year. But it gets better. It gets more insane, actually, if you think about it. Because I this is what I think happened. I don't buy the whole bat soup shit. I really think they were working on a bioweapon with stolen materials. And it somehow got loose. Because it wasn't just Canada. No, we had this pop up. Harvard and Wuhan, 21 smuggled vials of stolen unidentified biomaterial and two fraudulent J-1 visa holders, including a top Chinese Communist Party Army lieutenant, public reaction crickets. And uh, I actually have this, I should have this up and ready to go. Well, uh, uh, we'll just read through some of it. <laughs> we'll read through how China was involved in... Um, smuggling out biological materials with the help of uh, uh, bribed officials at Harvard University. Of course, why wouldn't it be Harvard? Why wouldn't Harvard be involved? U.S. Attorney's Office announced today that the chair of Harvard's University's Chemistry and Chemical Biology Department and two Chinese nationals have been charged in connection with aiding the People's Republic of China. Charles Lieber, 60, chair of the Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology at Harvard University, was arrested this morning and charged by criminal complaint with one count of making a materially false, fictitious, and fraudulent statement. Uh-oh. Yang Qing Yi, 29, a Chinese national, was charged in an indictment today with one count each of visa fraud, making false statements, acting as an agent of a foreign government, and conspiracy. By the way, this was yesterday this came out. And also, Zhao Song Zhang, 30, a Chinese national, was arrested on December 10th of 2019, at Boston's Logan International Airport and charged with criminal complaint and attempting to smuggle 21 vials of biological research material to China. On January 21st, 2020, J er, uh, Zhang was indicted on one count of smuggling the goods from the United States and making false and fictitious and fraudulent statements. And this is where it gets good. According to court documents, since 2008... Dr. Lieber has served as a principal investigator of the Lieber Research Group at Harvard University, which specializes in the area of nanoscience, and received more than $15 million in grant funding from the National Institute of Health and the Department of Defense. These grants require the disclosure of significant foreign financial conflicts of interest 
or support for foreign groups. Yet in the beginning of 2011, Lieber became a strategic scientist at Wuhan University of Technology. <laughs> or what? So when you ask what the fuck is happening, well, apparently Dr. Lieber from Harvard in connection with two Chinese nationals smuggling up biological materials or materials in Wuhan was getting paid by the Chinese government to help facilitate this. So I just, I'm putting my thinking thoughts hat on right now. Chinese agents involved in stealing coronavirus materials from a Canadian lab or trying to smuggle out data related to coronaviruses from Canada in the middle of last year. And with the help of Dr. Lieber, two nationals related again to Wuhan smuggling out biological materials. It's almost like the Chinese are sending out people to every fucking country they can to take viral data and viral materials and just throwing the shit in the blender and seeing what happens. <laughs> and somehow this shit got loose. This guy was getting paid millions of fucking dollars. Didn't disclose it. Worked with the United States government. Getting grants of upwards of $15 million. Still took a bribe from these assholes for $1.5 million. A tenth the value. That Chinese pussy must be fucking amazing. What in the fuck is going on with this world? Are we living in crazy town or what? Can somebody explain to me how this keeps happening? How it keeps centering around Wuhan? Why does it keep coming back to Wuhan? Why are all these Chinese nationalists related to the universities in Wuhan? This is the third one now. The third fucking institute. Why are they all related to uh, uh, universities and technology uh, institutes and viral or vir virology labs? In Wuhan, taking biological materials from foreign countries, uh, infiltrating biological laboratories, taking data, doing all this shit, and now all of a sudden we have this disease that pops up in China. We have this big fucking disease that pops up in China. What was the date that he was smuggling shit out? End of December? <laughs> okay. <sighs> Which means more than likely probably doing it before then too. And now we've got a mystery disease. All, all, these, all these groups, all related to Wuhan, all centered and located in Wuhan. And now all of a sudden this fucking disease pops up and China is shitting itself in fear. And you can't tell me they're not shitting themselves in fear. Because let's be realistic here. You don't quarantine 60 million fucking people and shut down 15 cities unless you're scared shitless. You have fucked up on a massive scale. And when you look at the countries around them, they're starting to kind of pick up on it too. Don't really focus too much on who in the CDC right now. Let's look at the people that are directly around them. Let's look at Mongolia. Mongolia building a wall to keep the Chinese out. Let's look at Russia cutting off all transport. Hong Kong wanting to seal its borders. The moment a Chinaman sneezed, Kim Jong-un shut, shut fucking everything down. None of these motherfuckers are coming into his country. Kazakhstan shutting shit right the fuck down. Everybody in the general facility is starting to get real fucking nervous about what's going on. Getting real nervous about what's going on. Almost like they can read it. So when you start to see this slow uptick of shit that's happening with the infection amount and with the death toll, I think it's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, I could be wrong. Sure, it could peter out. It could plateau tomorrow and everything's fine. But I will not change my stance that I think this is a viral weapon or a vi research into a biological weapon, and they lost control of it. Somebody fucked up. Maybe somebody was transporting something. Maybe they're fucking around and they didn't clean themselves up properly. I don't fucking know. But it got loose, and they got scared. And they don't want to tell anybody because they're scared. That's why they're building fucking three hospitals at the speed of light. They're running around as fast as they can to build three hospitals. Their hospitals are overstaffed. They're sending medical people from all over the fucking country in. That's why they don't want foreign experts. That's why they were real, you know, really iffy about letting them in. You notice the difference. Who sucks their dick? The World Health Organization will suck their dick. And they'll let uh, the World Health Organization maybe come in and help a little bit. The CDC, on the other hand. Even after Trump offered help, they're like, no, fuck no, stay away. I wonder why. Maybe because you stole our shit, you fucking assholes. Maybe if the CDC gets boots on the ground and sees what the fuck is really going on, they're going to realize, hey, wait a minute. 
that looks like some of the shit we had. I could, I could almost swear that's something we had in one of our laboratories. How did it end up in China? Why is it in Wuhan? I mean, it has to be pretty bad. It has to be pretty fucking bad when you're willing to convince the world that you eat badass. All right? You fucked up on a scale so large that you're, you're, you're willing to go with the story that the reason the pandemic is happening is you love the taste of bad asshole. <laughs> you, can't, you can't let the truth get out, so you're, you're willing to take that hit and let the whole world think that you're rim jobbing these fucking flying rodents brilliant just absolutely brilliant holy shit folks the goddamn Chinese <sighs> you know what where is that I'm, I, I got a clip to play I got a clip to play for all you all those South China where is it here Oh, here we go. It's an oldie but a goodie. Yeah. Somebody. That's so bad. No, I did. Oh. Anything? Yeah. Oh, no, somebody just got naded or something. That's your ball. Do it, do it, your ball. What happens that way? Um, I have a friend that 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 Taiwan number one. The HK Alex Yo. Investigation and uh, Taiwan number one. And he told me about something about like the Chinese. Oh, and, uh, one the and Taiwan number one. Treaty. Treaty. And and the, uh, the rest of the and I think that guy both the same us. guy. And, uh, <laughs> Taiwan number one. Yo, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Taiwan Wait. number one, fuck you. China number four. <laughs> Japan number two, Taiwan number one. Oh my god. You know what? I, I think that's official at this point. I think China is number four for this catastrophic fuck up. Taiwan number one, Japan number two. <laughs> Pick anybody for number three, it doesn't matter. Oh. Now let's go take a look. Because I'm sure you're interested, chat. Let's go take a look at the interactive plague map. I love interactive plague maps. Can I just say that they're the greatest thing that's ever been created? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why people make them, but goddamn, do I love them! Let's see if I get this loaded up here. Okay, let's take a look. Put this up on screen. Let's take a look and see uh, how bad it is right now, where it is right now. Get a real good idea of what borders it's close to and what countries it's spreading in. BNO usually does fairly well. There's another site too that provides pretty, pretty damn accurate numbers. Uh, that's another thing too to take in consideration. When you're talking to people about this, China is now dividing up the number release. They're doing uh, the epicenter, Hubei or whatever, and then they're doing national numbers. So they're, they're separating it by about two to three hours, from what I understand. So you get uh, just, just one province, one region, and then everybody else's numbers after that. So that's why it takes a little while to update, but let's take a look at what the tally's at right now, and let's go to the map. Okay. So in Hubei, uh, 4,500 cases. I, I don't. Th I, <laughs> I don't know what one S62. <laughs> it's, it's a new number apparently. Terrible things are happening. So in China, currently 7711, 7711 cases and 170 deaths. We have no deaths outside of China, just yet, but we do have two serious, serious cases up in France. But Thailand, 14, Singapore, 10, France, 5, Malaysia, 7, Japan, 11. There was a story about a bus driver that had a whole fucking bus full of Chinese tourists from Wuhan. Ended up getting sick. Poor son of a bitch. Four in South Korea, five in the United States, two in Vietnam, one in Nepal. Australia's got seven. Canada's got three. Cambodia's got one. Sri Lanka sitting at one. Germany, because they love diversity, has got four. United Arab Emirates has four. And finally, Finland 
has one. And we've got our little map here. Let's take a look at our little map. And just uh, let's let's see where everything's sitting here. You know, now Kazakhstan shut shit down pretty quickly. And I think it's obvious why. It's like a little train of death that's moving on into Kazakhstan. <laughs> no wonder they shut off uh, everything along this line. Just shut it the fuck down. Same with Mongolia. It, it looks like the Chinese are trying to invade. I feel like I'm playing uh, Kessen from fucking uh, PlayStation 2 era. It's a pincer attack. They're trying to hit him from the north and from the south. It's like little armies of infection are headed towards Mongolia and a breakaway army is heading towards Kazakhstan. <laughs> now with all of this shit over here, I wouldn't doubt that it's going to be in Laos pretty soon. Uh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, I, I, there's just it's just a matter of fucking time. The Philippines, matter of time. Indonesia, all these guys are getting fucked. It's in Sri Lanka. India's there's no way it's not going to end up there. Here's Australia. Uh, I believe this is the only part of Australia that didn't burn down to a crisp. This is all... There's nothing living in this area anymore because of the fire tornadoes. And the poor survivors from all the fire tornadoes in Australia, uh, they're now infected with the Wu flu. God really hates Australia for some reason. I don't know what you Aussies did to piss them off, but you did something. Oh, and here we go with... Uh, our French cases and our German cases, it's going to spread over there. Believe me. Finland. And then good old USA and Canada. Toronto and Ontario. Or, I'm sorry, British Columbia. Washington. A couple in California. Of course, you've got Arizona. And you've got Chicago. So it's, I mean, really the only safe places at the moment without confirmed cases. South America and Africa. Kind of ironic, really. <laughs> These are the two con I'm sorry, continents that you would be the safest on. But there you go. Those are the two places. If you want to survive the Wu flu, you'd better you better love Brazil or like Mali or shit or some shit. Because uh, that's that's the last place you've got left to go. There's there's nowhere else to turn to. Brazil or Mali, that's it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Australia. I don't know exactly why God hates you so much, but whew, he is just shitting down your throat lately. After the fire stuff, you thought maybe maybe Mother Nature and God would just give you a minor break, right? Like, just back off a little bit. Shit. But no, we're going to send a bunch of Chinese tourists to get you all sick. And I believe there's speculation. And this is one of the problems, too. This is why at least I try to wait for, like, Biano's numbers and a few other places' numbers. Because there's so many potential cases and suspected cases that you're never 100% sure. Like earlier, there were three different locations in Africa that were suspected might have it. Um, you know, there was some speculation too. People were saying, no, 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 they're, they're, they're honest to God. There's like one in uh, Brazil and there's one in Peru. But, you know, a until there's a positive result that comes back, you, you can't be 100% sure. I know in the United Kingdom... They wheeled out some motherfuckers, and uh, it wasn't looking good. Apparently, from what I understand in the UK situation, the guy told the doctor, his general practitioner, that uh, he had contact or he had been to Wuhan. He had a fever. He felt sick. The doctor sent him home. His temperature got worse, and then they sent in the hazmat people. Same thing in Russia. I, I, I'm not sure if it was a tourist or if it was somebody that was coming back from there. Again, uh, carted off in a fucking, it looks like an oxygen tent. With people in uh, hazmat suits, Merv suits, whatever, whatever they're wearing. <sighs> so I don't know. I don't know what the end result of this is going to look at. Let's uh, let me throw the the growth chart back up. I mean, you can see the direction it's headed. Now, where does that plateau? Where does it finally stop? I mean, you're still seeing this growth, I and mean, uh, this is another thing to take into consideration. You're still seeing this growth curve occur under quarantine. All right, with the Chinese government locking shit down, putting in curfews, shutting down businesses, shutting down transportation, trains and subways and everything. With all of that shit happening, this curve is still shooting straight up. Could you imagine? Well, I mean, the, the mayor of Wuhan, who they used as a sacrificial lamb, uh, who uh, is probably dead now because he actually had the balls to say something about the central authority. But the mayor of Wuhan said before the lockdown went into place, five million people were out and about. They, they couldn't stop them. So if it takes one to two weeks for symptoms to show up, if they even do show up, you may be asymptomatic, this shit's going to spread like wildfire. 
it seems to be fairly infectious. Now, it, it has yet to be seen how deadly it's going to be, but we've, we've surpassed SARS. Wait, I guarantee you it surpassed SARS. So it's, it's funny to me to watch uh, all the Eugenes out there talk about how the, the flu, the flu is, uh, you know, the, the sniffles, bro. Like the sniffles and shit, yo. <laughs> how many, what do you think the number has to be for them to suddenly stop saying the flu is worse? What do you think the numbers have to be when people start to say, oh shit, maybe this is a problem? 25,000 infected, 100,000 infected, half a million, a couple million, how many dead? 50,000 dead, 100,000 dead? At what point would it have to reach for people to really, really hit the freak the fuck out moment in uh, in this event, in this happening? For them to really be like, oh shit, it's, things are going terribly right now. You see, uh, there were some stories that came out talking about, uh, like I said earlier, hoarding masks and medications. Uh, but there were other stories about grocery stores running out of stuff. And then the Chinese government put out a propaganda video saying, no, no, the grocery stores are fine. Look, here we we sent somebody and look, it's it's wonderfully stocked. And then yet you see uh, people on college campuses, you, you know, India is reporting this. And there are a couple American articles talking about college kids that are over there right now saying they're completely out of fucking everything. They have nothing. They can't leave the fucking campus. They're locked down. You know, people are stuck in their buildings. You've got these videos of them sc screaming, go, go, Wuhan, go, from their fucking uh, uh, windows and balconies. <sighs> people are going to start to get squirrely. They're going to start to get a little bit a little bit stir-crazy from being locked up and starting to run a little low on stuff as the infection rate increases. I don't know what's going to go on. You tell me, chat. I've gone on for a good, about an hour now. Just kind of bringing you up to date on the crazy shit that's going on over there. You tell me, what do you think is going to happen? Am I going Alex Jones on this chat? Hmm? Have I, have I, have I donned the tinfoil and gone too far off the deep end? Or does it seem potentially like maybe based on China's reaction, they're scared and there's probably reason for them to be scared. And it's just going to take a little while for the world to catch up to what that reasoning might actually be. No, I don't think the zombie apocalypse has happened yet. <laughs> we'll find out if they raise from the dead. That would be one hell of a trick. I'll give them that. Crazy house. A little squirrely. Yeah. I'm probably going to get a little nutty as time goes on here. You think it'll take 100 million dead, chat? <laughs> I, think, I think that would scare the fuck out of everybody. Oh, somebody said, uh, Israel confirmed. Is Israel have a case now? A hundred million dead. Oh, there you go. Oh, is this the end? Is it finally come to this? Well, you know what? Let's, let me, let me, let me take a look. Let me see if there's any hot, late breaking stories about the coronavirus. I'm sure it's just going to be about 20 news articles saying, dude, the flu is so much worse. You need to relax. Stop freaking out the flu, bro. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, gold is booming right now. It looks like China's richest man has uh, upped his pledge from 15 million. Jack Ma had originally said he was going to give 15 million to help buy masks and medical supplies. He's up that now to 21 million. Not sure how much of an impact that's going to have. But, okay, that's like, uh, it's two bucks a person in Wuhan. <laughs> I'm sure they appreciate it. Some instant noodles they can eat while they choke to death on their own blood. Three Japanese evacuated from Wuhan have tested positive. Well, lovely. Coronavirus prompts Texas University to clamp down. Tourism officials react to the possible case of coronavirus in Las Vegas. Jackson County, yeah, see, it's just... It's story after story of just different little communities starting to kind of come around to the fact that, oh, maybe this is not the best thing right now. And I love the fact that, uh, you know, a lot of people try to downplay it. But imagine the economic toll this is having just right now. It's been a week, just a week, a single week of lockdown of this many people, of this many areas. 
in the transport that's being shut down between China and all these other nations. When it comes to goods and services, imagine the economic toll, not just on China, but on other countries. I really find it hard to believe that China's going to take that much of a hit financially uh, and is going to go through these kind of measures for, for no reason. It just doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me that they would take on that kind of loss if they weren't absolutely scared fucking shitless right now about what's going on in their country. No more evacuation, somebody's saying. Oh, God, I'm glad you brought that up. Did I put this in yet? Shit, please tell me I have this in. <laughs> you know what? I'll find it. Fuck it. I thought I had it in. I might not. I might not have it in here. God damn it, I didn't put it in. All right, you know what? I'll find it anyway. I know where to find it. I think you'll you'll enjoy this. Uh, where is this? Just to give you an idea of some of the goofy shit that's going on right now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I swear to God. This is fucking insanity. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, is that... Uh, well, you can't read the very top, but the very top of it is the article title. Coronavirus British mom told to leave young son behind in Wuhan. A British woman due to be flown out of Wuhan amid the coronavirus outbreak was told to leave behind her three-year-old son because he had a Chinese passport. <laughs> What what the fuck is that? Okay. All right, listen here. Listen here, little Miss British lady. We're going to let you leave the country, but we're keeping your baby. Your baby. We're keeping your baby. You can leave, but the toddler stays. What? Why? What the fuck is that? You know, all these countries wanting to evacuate people. I mean, it's been the U.S., Canada, Australia, Japan, India. Uh, and I'm, I'm forgetting some. I'm sure I'm forgetting some. There are more that want to get their people out. The EU has talked about getting people out. Britain wanted to pull people out, and initially they were told to fuck off. And now here she's told, well, let you leave, but we're keeping your baby. <laughs> of course it's a son. I guarantee, what, do, you, do you think if it was a three-year-old daughter, they would have let her take her? But it's a son, so he has to stay. You're not allowed to take him with you baby stays what the fuck oh chat oh well i'll enjoy these streams while i can with my smoking habit once i get the uh the boomer flu boomer pneumonia it's the woo flu that gives you boomer pneumonia once i get that i'm a dead man so smoke them while you got them i guess I'm just gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to stick with it. We could watch a few more clips. I'll, you know, I'll get to super chats here in a minute, uh, but we could watch a few more clips of the uh, what's going on, going on right now in the heart of Juan. Uh, we had the spit video, but it's actually a compilation video with other footage. <laughs> it shows it shows a dude driving a taxi that just straight kicks a motherfucker out. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, "Where are you from?" He's like, and the guy lies to him. Oh, they lie so much because they know they're being hunted. Like, there have been in you know, a social media post talking, like, if you're from Wuhan, don't tell anybody. But they recognize them from the accent. I mean, a, being a, a Westerner, I can't pick up on that. But I'm sure if you're you're from China, you can tell regional dialects and you can pick up on it easily. But the taxi driver's not having any of that shit. Yeah, let's watch. Let's watch a little. Of course, we've got the spitting incident. Oh, yeah, and this, uh, you know, you know, you know, yes. There we go, that's better. Yeah, a lot of these videos coming out, too. Uh, now, and again, I I don't know what to tell you, but... Wuhan <laughs> return, please don't touch! Look at that shit! <laughs> it's... Look at that! What's... Uh, it's just fucking poles bolted to the doors and shit. Don't touch filthy Wuhans are inside. 
A lot of these police videos too, though. Yeah, there there are a bunch of them. Here's the <laughs> here's the taxi driver. Oh, guy gets into his cab. Hey, where's the nearest hospital? Starts coughing. <laughs> that dude is on that shit quick. Where the fuck are you from? You don't sound like you're from there, motherfucker. <laughs> We're about to have a problem here, I'm pretty sure. Holy fuck. You'd think, you know, I, these videos... I, I want to try to do, like, a super compilation. Somebody should put together a super compilation. Because there are a ton of them on social media. And just scattered about on different things. <laughs> Have you been to Wuhan? This guy does not want to let on that he has, in fact, been. I just got back. I got back from there, and now I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> you need to get the fuck out. Get out, fatty. Get the fuck out of my taxi cab. But I want, like, a super compilation. I want a super compilation of all this shit put together. Because it's just, when you add it all up and you show them barricading people in and hunting them down and fighting the cops, <laughs> it's just shit, man. <sighs> it's crazy town down there. Yes, Chad, that taxi guy, not putting up with an ounce of shit. I don't blame him. I'd have been fucking pissed, too. That guy popped in there and he fucking straight up lied. He asked him, where are you from? And the guy lied. What did he say? Uh, Bao Ding? I don't, I don't know what, he, what region he said. And the guy's like, you don't sound like you're from there. You sound like you're from fucking Wuhan. Get out! Starts, can you imagine the balls? Everybody's freaked out about this shit. And you start coughing on your taxi driver and then you're like, you're like yeah, I'm from Wuhan. Can you bring me to the hospital? <laughs> Holy fuck. That's a confined space. That dude probably got sick. He probably fucked that guy up. Holy fucking hell. All right. Let's see here. Let me um let me go grab a drink. I think we've 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 done our update stream. People wanted an update stream, there you go. We'll hold a minor little crossing the finish line stream, I think, tomorrow. For when it's officially bigger than SARS. As in more infections worldwide. I think SARS was like, what, 8,100? Wasn't it? Like, the, that was a top number, like 8,122? It, it, it's somewhere in there. Low 8,000s. And this definitely is going to surpass that by tomorrow. By tomorrow, earlier than now. Probably by tomorrow, like in the next 20 hours, when the numbers get updated. Uh, again, I'm not 100% sure where they're going to be, but I, I'm going to guess above 9,000 at the very least. So we'll do a, a, a crossing the finish line stream on that. I'll try to put a, together a compilation of all the uh, all the fighting that's going on and the the Wuhan hunting that's taking place. Maybe we can find a clip of whatever asshole patient it was that was spitting on doctors. What a dick! But um, I'll put on uh, I just put on this, the same music for a second. I'm gonna go grab a drink and then uh, when I come back, we'll do we'll do super chats uh, for those of you that stick around. Everybody else is taking off. Uh, Avoid the airports. Uh, avoid avoid Chinese buffets. I guess don't eat bad assholes. Uh, you know, again, currently they're pretty sure eating bad assholes is what's doing it to people. You know, totally not a, a biological weapon that got out of a lab. People just love the taste of bat. That's what did it. So don't eat bat. That's my advice to you. Maybe buy some chain mail and some good protection. I know there's that debate between N95 and P100. Just go old-fashioned on that shit. You know, I'm talking like Templar stuff. Just full fucking chain mail. I mean, that that I think will protect you well enough. It should, it should scare Corona Chan enough that she leaves you alone. And make sure to get your little pillow fort together. Okay, you need to be prepared for what's coming. <laughs> you need to be prepared for all the crazy shit that's coming your way. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw on, I throw on some music here. Go grab a drink, and then we'll uh, we'll get to super chats here in like three or four minutes. Where is the, uh, where's the break music? That's not the that's not the break text. Where's the break text? There we go. Well, super chat time in a second.
しまう光は闇に上がつきもいざないもう慣れて惹かれ合う仕事 Oh my god, he didn't even segue out of the song. He just cut it off. What a dick. I need to get a little bit better music selection. I've been I've been skimping on that a little bit. But let's uh let's jump into the super chats. Get caught up to them. Well, I still have the oxygen to read them out before my lungs fill with blood. <sighs> Because I can't stop eating bat. I love it. It tastes so fucking delicious. From Terry Hesticles. Jade has slant, uh, slanty eyes. I wouldn't trust her, Jim. Duly noted, I'll be careful. From Aaron Vice, blah, blah, Elder Scrolls lore, blah, blah, James Drake, Union Bridge. Big Gate, love you, Jim. Don't let the uh, woo flu kill you. I'll try my best. From Sis Lord, Soy Blue. The last 33 nucleotides of the Kung Flu virus are all ad or adenine. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sure that would be uh, uh, informative if I wasn't completely retarded. But it's good to know. Now I've got something I can just... I'm just going to start spouting that out in random conversations. And act like I'm a fancy boy. I'm a fancy boy now. I know big things. From Austin101990. Will the Wu flu stop the homeless problem? Well, you know, they have been fighting the Wu flu uh, with, with AIDS medication. There were two specific ones. Anti-HIV medications. Um, <laughs> so... You know, I'm thinking of all the uh, the homeless population in California um, that are part of, uh, you know, like, there's a weird cross-section of homeless gift givers in San Fran. So I, I don't know what's going to happen because they're probably already on those particular medications, so they're probably going to be impervious. How ironic is that? The whole world's going to die from the Wu flu, except everybody that has AIDS. The only way you can save yourself from the Wu flu is is to get given the gift because you'll already be on the regiment you need to be on to be treated. At least that's from the stories that are coming out of China. From Veggie Bat, China didn't do nothing. They good boys. Just need more money for them gutter oils and bat soups. From Drew McTug or Tig, uh, what's your favorite dinosaur? Probably the one I'm going to be laying next to uh, when they throw my ass uh, 20 feet deep and then bury me because they don't want me to spread the contagion to my community. Uh, veggie bad. Also, what's your take on Russia stealing SCP? I have no idea that's going on, so I don't really have a take to give you. From Sus, Jim, please tell me where you were or what you were doing on 9-11. Also, call your mom. She misses you and wants to talk about your life. I can't uh, really go into details about what I was doing or where I was on 9-11. <laughs> In a def, you know, it involved a dance party. That's all I can tell you. From Too Spoopy For Me, man. Hey, boss. There's a video of a deaf dude kissing his grandma's corpse on YouTube. <laughs> I just... So, uh, like... Okay. <laughs> just... How does the deaf part play into it? <laughs> do you think somebody was screaming, Don't do it, man. That's your grandma. And you just couldn't hear him? <laughs> He's randomly going around kissing dead people? Oh, it's just, I don't know, why would that, oh, fucking YouTube. From Terry Hesticles, worst dad, Eric Clapton, or Kobe Bryant? I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't, I know, a lot of people talking about the Kobe thing. I, I don't, I don't follow sports. I couldn't tell you. Uh, Ethan the Hobo, thought you might need a pl or palate cleanser. Have a YouTube video of lady freaking out in uh, Miser. No, <laughs> thank you. From True Joker, hey Jim. Thoughts about Chris Hansen versus Onision. Actually, already talked about that. Uh, not, a, not a ton of thoughts about that. From Gree Peel, this news makes it hard to breathe. Oh, woo, it's coming for a you. <laughs> From, I, I guess, Dash. Uh, we must teach the Chinese about the white man magic of hand washing. It's our burden to carry. <sighs> well, you know, I think the first, the first thing who should do once it gets down there is maybe convince patients to stop spitting on the fucking doctors. That might be a good place to start. From Dill Pickles, a chew, 56,709. From Tommy Dillon, me so horny, me love you long time, or at least until the pneumonia takes me, take my money wigger. Well, thank you very much. Based Noodle, a Bola Chan is uh, cuter, but I think she might prefer black guys. 
That is true. <laughs> Ebola Chan has a thing for uh, the dark-skinned dudes. From Tommy Dillon, press L if Corona needs its lime. I'm okay, chat. If you think Corona needs some lime, press L. You know, there were a couple articles saying there were some people that were so stupid, they were looking up the drink rather than the disease, trying to figure out why there were so many alcoholic Chinese men. I guess they couldn't grasp that maybe it was something related to a virus. I don't fucking know. From Riri121, hey Jim and fam. I hope everyone starts stocking up before the panic hits, and I hope people take video in stores when it does. Well, make sure to record. All right, let, I think we've all learned our lesson from World Star Hip Hop. All right, you need to get that shit in landscape mode. Uh, from Drew Durant, thank you for giving me something to listen to at work. From Gold S18, wait a second, this comment is racist and will offend my Asian girlfriend. From Zemeckis Lebowski, hi Jim and chat. Would you like some bat soup? No, I think I'm full. Thank you for the offer. From Mobile Crusader, I heard someone at work ask, <laughs> oh, what are people thinking buying up all those masks for a disease that, uh, with less than 200 deaths? And another guy said to him, do you really trust the Chinese to give up re or us real anything? Even normies see. Yeah, I don't officially, I, I, I'll just be uh, upfront, and I've said this before, I don't believe the Chinese numbers. I think they're they're downplaying them massively. I think they're way more infected and way more dead than what we're being told. So, you know, but all I have to work with are the official number or er, numbers. Now, how bad does it have to get until we get real numbers? Who knows? And how long will that take? Who fucking knows? But yeah, I, I don't I don't believe anything regarding the origin of where this came from, and I don't believe the numbers they're reporting. So we'll just have to see what the spread is like outside of China now that it's starting to get around. To have a better idea at the very least. From X Epic Yoshi X, don't panic, but we're all going to die, Jim. Uh, duly noted, Comwest 907. Have we paid for your bunker yet, Jimbo? Uh, you need to buy more hats. I, I, you know, the hat money goes. Every hat sold buys a brick, and with enough bricks, I can build that bunker. From Reno Miles, sup, Jim? How good are you holding? Uh, how good are you with holding a note? Can you hold like a five-second long note? A woo flu. I don't know if that's good enough, but there you go. From Girk Garb, MSNBC called Lakers. Uh, oh, yeah, no, I saw that. Are you talking about the lady? <laughs> Are you talking about the reporter that uh, called, uh, had some had some uh, racial language to say? She's, the, uh, she's just an N-word guy now, like the South Park skit. And then she tried, I love how she tried to act like that's not what she said. She's like, no, no, no. It was. I said, uh, I, I meant to say Lakers, but I put an N at the front and said Nakers. No, lady, I heard that clip. We we all heard what you said. Just own it. From Maxwell Bond, ate at a Chinese buffet today. I've only got days to live now. Going to drain my bank account on things I love most. Mr. Medicare and E-Girls. Well, thank you. From David H., finally a stream on my night off of the Lumberyard. I got a 30-second raise, so I have some smoke money. Well, I better enjoy those cigarettes while these lungs still function. Thank you. From Mark Demes. Hey, Jim. Did you hear the CDC announced the coronavirus is to be eradicated? It's all a part of a mission to send Eugene to China with NyQuil. God, I hope they send Eugene's ass over to fucking China. I would love to see that asshole knee-deep in that shit. From Lalupi. What's more sustainable, bugs or gutter oil? Also, why do all these people I like turn out to be furries or weebs? Well, as for the last part, I couldn't tell you. As for the first part, and I didn't even get to really talk about this, but you know what, since you brought it up, since you brought up the bug thing, let me see if I can find it here. Where, where are we? Ah, shit, how long ago was this? I, I should have had this queued up and ready to go, but I didn't think I'd really get a chance to discuss it, but now that I do, <laughs> I'll, now that I do, I'll share it. I might have to adjust the picture just a little bit, but I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm going to have to turn this picture off. Just one second. Uh, speaking of bugs, East Africa battles worst swarms of locusts in decades. UN Agency six seventy million to combat crisis threatening food security across the region. I fucking love this picture. <laughs> He's wearing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt, and he's just getting mobbed. A Kenyan farmer attempts to drive a swarm of locusts away 
I, I would say unsuccessfully, by the way. The scale of the pest is worse, the, or the worst the country has seen in 70 fucking years. <laughs> He's trying to swat them out of the fucking air with his hands. There's like a million of them. I don't know what he's doing. But now that you bring up sustainability and, uh, you know, what what's what's going to be better? I would say we got plenty of locusts to go around if you're hungry. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> it's just freaking the fuck out inside that swarm. It's so good. Oh. You know, I, I, I brought this up earlier, but, uh, you know, was that, that TikTok shit where they kept posting the trumpet videos? Maybe their trumpet's going off because we've got diseases just raping Asia right now and swarms, plagues of locusts all over Africa. We just we just need some more destructive shit going on. I could swear I'm hearing trumpets in the background. From uh, Eric Falkenhain, I'm getting sick by something, sneezing on as many door handles as I can. I'm not going to go through this alone. You're going to take as many down with you as you can, Eric? From Matthew Harder. Jim, put on your business voice. Hi, you've reached Matthew. I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name and number, I'll return your call as soon as possible. And if you're a man, please describe your penis in exquisite detail so I can imagine what it would be like to suck on your helmet. Again, this is Matthew. There you go, buddy. From Not Y-A-L-C, Papa Jimbo. Please kick to the, please kick the slant to the curb. I'm worried about you, and I don't want you to die for some horizontal poon. When's the fucking alien stream with Mandar rip stream dot me? Well, you know, fuck. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should get to do that stream with David. Now that this shit's in California, he's on alert. So I'd better do it while I still have a chance. From Camille Taggart, I bought that album. Corona Chan comes from seven three one. Calling it now. From Hef Brobner. Mushy Mushy to you, Corona Chan, from Corrupt Cuck. Can you say, Gaz, get a fucking job, you bum? But I guess I can. Marshall Bermsey, or Bernsey. If Corona Chan keeps this up, we're going to start seeing demons and Death Guard Space Marines come out of the warp. Let's see the greater good win this. From Winter Wolf, good day, Jim. Pray for us all in public transport, boys, in the eastern parts of Australia. So many quick links. <laughs> On the train got me fearing every move uh, they make. Yeah, again, I feel really bad for Australia out of all of this, to be honest. You guys have just getting, you're just getting shit on. Uh, the unknown otaku. Jim, is it just a sniffles? Nothing to achoo. From Querty, uh, in uh, UNSW, Sydney. And the girl I just, or, and the girl just below me had the woo flu. This will probably be my last super chat, Jim. Well, ripping pepperoni, Cordy. It's been nice knowing you. From the unrepentant, Ebola bats, Corona bats, Mayan flu bats. Oh, they're, they're all out there. Apparently bats just get around. They're the slut of the animal kingdom. Just spreading their nasty diseases everywhere. From Cole Cole. Got into an argument. I think Worski is just a dimwit. But he said Andy was a lull cow. What do you think? I just, I think, <laughs> I don't know. I think Andy is excitable. I think is the best way to put it. <laughs> He's excitable and then he does some dumb shit. From Tag, Daddy Jim, I live in Everett, Wisconsin, or, uh, Washington and work with the general public five times a week. I haven't been this fucked since my boyfriend tried Viagra. Well, best of luck. Wear a mask and uh, get plenty of hand sanitizer. Just, you know, wa wipe everything down. Get a flamethrower would probably be the best way to clean shit. From Victor Phantasm, Boss, please say a prayer for the Sweetie Squad. Well, I'll say a prayer at your funeral. Of course, I'll probably be dead before you. So you have to say one at mine. From Zoggle, hey Jim, Seattle resident here. My family and friends all have a cold on a scale of 1 to 10. How screwed am I? Well, there are normal colds going around and normal flu going around. Now, I, I'm sure if you want, I could have Eugene give you a call and he'll assuage your, your fears on this. From SS, scoop, polished, and ready. A woo sneeze, a big juicy one in my mouth, Corona Chan. A woo, infect me with your hot fluids. From <laughs> lifeless loser, big question. Okay, if you get the woo flu, is it chat as fuck to go infect as many government and lizard men as possible with it? Go down swinging, guys. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to be reacted to if you turn yourself into a uh, a biological living weapon. 
Sounds like some anime shit. Is there a manga? I bet you there's a manga about that. A man that gets a deadly disease and then just goes around sneezing on people because he's a cunt. And if there isn't, there should be. From Reno Miles. You have good pipes, Jim. Before you die of MERS or SARS, can you hold a five-second long note? We just did this one. We just did the Awu. You want me to do a Roo now? I don't know what a Roo is, but... Roo! There you go. It's getting fucking ridiculous. From Richard, my friends... <laughs> my friends, please avoid travel to China until I am advised safe. Moderator Marcy... The 100 cases that have been contained, I really don't know why 200 people died, but the Chinese say that 300 deaths is okay. But people really don't know why people keep mentioning 2,000 worldwide cases and almost 400 deaths. From Uncle Aaron. Hey Jim, your streams are the best. Greetings from Finland. We have a confirmed case, or a case here and 15 possible people exposed. Luckily, it's in Lapland. Well, there you go. Yeah, I don't know what's going to... Why, you know, why Finland? Why hasn't Sweden been the one to get hit first, right? Wouldn't you think? Padre speaks. When will you have Dr. Ding on the live stream? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about Dr. Ding. I really should look into that. From uh, Tommy Dillon. Winnie the Pooh goes to chew, then goes home and takes a big poo. Don't know where to go from here. China's full of bat-eating queer. <laughs> uh, nice alliteration. From Sis Lord Soy Blue. Look at Corona Chan DNA, 33A nucleotide tail. For posterity, how are the Chinese numbers trustworthy? I, I don't believe they are, but these are the numbers we have to work with. So even with the lying numbers, we still, we're still going to surpass SARS. From Double Zero, hoping Eminence and Shadow will be good. Fun so far, it's fucking amazing. Eminence and Shadow is the best goddamn manga I've read in forever. It's literally about a guy that reincarnates in another world. And just LARPs for the fucking hell of it. it he, oh, he shit posts in real life and convinces people about a demonic cult. He's so good at LARPing, he throws the entire world into chaos. How is that not the greatest fucking plot for a story? <laughs> it's fucking amazing. From Ninstar Rune, this stream brought to you by Eugene Gook, MD. From Unsonion Faces, Mandate of Heaven, Withdrawn. From Blah 007001, will we be able to colonize China after this? I'm going to have to say we're going to probably need to take a little bit of time before jumping into that. From Farah Owen, you can skip this one. Susan will just steal it anyway. From Leon and Claire Kennedy, I hope Claire is okay. The bloodline depends on it. From Macro Molecule Gaming, hi Jim. The fifth official case of flu, or Wu flu in the U.S. just happened on my university campus. What should I do? We're out of masks. Well, maybe take some time off a of fucking college campus. You know, call in sick. <laughs> take a sick sick day. A sick week, a sick month. Maybe just just fucking walk away. <laughs> just just throw your hands up and walk the fuck away for a while. From Death Machine 513, what's the opening song called? I actually don't know offhand. I, I, I guarantee you if you look in chat when I'm saying this right now, somebody will be able to tell you exactly what it is. What is the name of the opening song? Chat, go ahead and tell them. Uh, I, I looked it up. It's something related to Ebola, Chan. It, you can find it on YouTube if you look it up. But I, I guarantee you somebody will put it up. Uh, das Pooch. I work in IT at a Big Ten university with a shit ton of Chinese engineering students. The moment I hear suspected case, I'm working from home for at least a month. Well, I, you know, I, oh, I'm sorry. Eh, fucking slants is how you end that one. Um, yeah, I don't blame you. I'd be working at home, too. Again, a lot of these major companies, social media and just... Um, Tech companies already are having people work at home. <laughs> Nobody wants to deal with it. From Glow in the Dark, Sargon, the anti-Nostradamus prediction is it isn't that bad, thus dooming us to one of the worst plagues in modern history. Oh, is that Sargon's take? He said it's not going to be bad? Well, shit, we're all going to die. If Sargon said this isn't going to be bad, we're fucked. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you, chat. We're all going to fucking die. From CC Invasion, hey, Jim. Just got paid today. Just wanted to let you know that Minnesota sucks Wisconsin number one. From Reno Miles, SPCC wants on check scream.me. From Sinac 8, we are all going to get infected. China fuck up not just the bioweapon, but the containment. From Carnacle Blackburn, those fatalities are rookie numbers. For fuck's sake, even the plagues in China are shoddily made. From Scott, goodbye, Jim. It's been nice knowing you. 
remember me from underscore studied abroad researching architecture in southern europe and paris this month chinese were everywhere scale of zero to ten how screwed am i pray for me jimbo well from my understanding the first cases were what early december um i, I don't know it's when oh this month you studied this month well yeah you're fucked then <laughs> nice knowing you exploding printy the center for disease control is dr redfield on the case well it's good to know anthony gonzalez raf can you pick up or, or raf can you pick me up and ella up from work nibba anthony needs a ride raf come on from jake or jacob kilgore das right jimmy das right from memac 1134 buy supplies now before the panic Toast Bill Clinton. Buy a half or full face mask with P100 to P300 air filter. Wear surgical gloves in public. It spreads through mouth, nose, and eye mucus. Well, yeah, the P series is going to have full facial coverage with the face plate. Uh, the N series usually doesn't. And isn't that the difference? Is P is oil proof, right? Liquid proof. Uh, N isn't. Or it's something like that. I read up on it briefly because everybody is debating what kind of mask to get. And I'm just going to go with, like I said, plate mail armor. So fuck it. Uh, from Farm Master Flex, Bat Soup or Eel Soup? <sighs> it's a tough choice. Why not both? From Padre Speaks, Global Homo Bizo. Around me crying bigotry because not allowing flights from China is racist. A buddy of mine is in public health, is in denial about all of this. From Jimbo and, or Jimbo's A-Tube, I'm a med student. Death rate seems confirmed to be flu level, but China is hiding the crucial number of how many people one person infects not good uh yeah that was a thing i mean there were there were a couple of news reports but again they're just a couple so it's not i mean you can't how do you extrapolate from one or two stories but of um a couple people infecting upwards of 14 others uh you know so i i, I don't know you're right that is that would be a great number to know wouldn't it but they're never going to share it are they uh, looks like somebody sent uh I forgot you can do the little stickers now. I would see this is a problem. If you send a sticker, I mean it's cool, but it should they should overlay that on the stream. That would be better. Cuz like putting it up where super chats go, nobody sees it. I don't know YouTube, you need to fix that and just like make the sticker the most obnoxious shit you can. <laughs> just to annoy the fuck out of everyone. Uh from glow in the dark of China can't control the populace with their 5 million officers and military men then China might go full warring states period again. Well, I think their military will contain it, I'm going to guess, uh, through the use of propaganda and lying and people just being so sick they can't do anything about it. Uh, but I, I I don't know. They're just going to have to keep them satisfied and just buying into the bullshit. That's why every day you see update videos of these fucking hospitals being built like it's the greatest thing ever, when they've got welded bars on the fucking windows and locked from the outside. And look, these Chinese hospitals look like they're from Ikea. If anybody's seen what they look like, they look like they're from fucking Ikea. Uh, from Psycho Josh, I would eat Rogues the Bat Ass. Virus be damned. I don't know if Sonic's going to like that very much. From Renning, Bat Soup so good, it's to die for. The Dashing Rogue, Kathy Zoo is the Ada Wong of this biohazard game. From Sarah Dragon. They snap the bat wings and boil them alive. Jesus Christ, that's fucking awful. Why? Why would you eat bats? What would can why what would even make you think that would be a like a good decision to go with? Like maybe if you're you're lost in the wilderness and there's nothing else, maybe. But like just if you're at a restaurant and you have a choice between like a fucking hamburger, a sushi roll, or a half-dead bat, why would you choose the bat? From Loric Project, Oh, hero, dear, would you like a bat soup, white man? Uh, no, I don't think I would like bat soup. From Metazare, Jim, watch Inuyushiki, the last hero. An old man is turned into an android when an alien spaceship lands on him. Sounds silly, but trust me, it's phenomenal. Had me crying like a bitch by the end. Uh, well, I'll check it out. From Joan Arc, have you seen the French firefighter ducking up, or what is it? Ducking up riot cops in France. Why is that country always rioting in times like this? Uh, no, I haven't seen that. I, I have heard it mentioned, though. But I thought like a cop attacked a firefighter. I didn't know the firefighter was going after the cop. From uh, Chase Weiler. Just drank over three pints of steel reserve. 
and took a Xanax. Is this enough to save me from the Corona champ? Uh, well, only time will tell. From Grody Grungus, when's that asteroid going to hit Earth again? Not soon enough. From Tommy Dillon, oh, hello, Round Eye. You like dog ball soup? No, I don't think I'd like that either. From Garlic Bread, I tagged you in a gift over Twitter, Jim. Enjoy. I'm sure it's going to be just amazing. From Glow in the Dark, remember what the Hong Kong protester said? Don't trust China. China is an asshole. From Epic Yoshi, if you don't have the Wu flu, then you're a bigot. Da uh, David Henry Posadas, uh, what happened to Monday Matt, Matt Jarbo? Did he get the Wu flu? Uh, I think he's out there collecting boulders. Matt might actually survive this. Living in the woods, collecting boulders away from civilization has probably insulated him enough that he'll be impervious to the Wu flu. Uh, absorbing, uh, absorbing lifeline. Hey, Jim. Just turned 19 today, spending time with friends at a bonfire tonight. I don't have time to watch the stream, but enjoy the shekels. Inshallah. Oh, well, thank you. From Blah 007001, that Chinese kid is holding up an airsoft gun. Not a real run. Uh, Barrett M82A1s aren't smaller than a child. From that copper fella, well, SBCC is back on, or back, Jim, on YouTube. From the reasonable extremist, Jim, my neighbors are Asian. And I have the sniffles. Am I already dead? Nani. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, you have passed away. You're deceased. You're a zombie now. From Dick Rambo. Spoonie will be the last man standing. From Sean Turner. That is Silent Hill 4 vibes. It's really scary. Are you talking about the uh, barricaded door shit? Yeah. Matthew Skidmore. Thank you for the years of laughs, Jim. When you wanted to be a teacher, did you have an idea what age of kids you wanted to teach? What subject? Uh, well, I would say the subject would be survival. And the age would be young, so when I get the fucking boomer pneumonia from the Wu flu, uh, they can go and pick up oxygen tanks so I can fucking survive it. From Dizzy Dwarf, Eugene says, we're all still good. He's working on a cure, guys, relax. Enjoy some bat soup while reading his autistic Twitter rants. Thank fucking God for Eugene. He's really an angel out there, isn't he? From Ninstar Rune, Jim, look at the, uh, I, I'm not going to pronounce this right. Guanzi Massacre, where communist Chinese began to cannibalize for the hell of it. Just just for a dare? Was it just for funsies? Radio Ruin, Fallout 5 will take place in China, but for real. Colin Archer, photos from China look like screenshots from Dying Light. Also beware of spitting zombies. Oh, it's good. It's good advice, actually. AGK, my Wu Flu, Beta Dan Yo Kung Flu Pigu, Corona Chan number one. From Eternal Firebird, Woohoo, the RPG coming P er, coming soon. P.S. If China was being truthful, which usually is unlikely, this spread to this whole world may have never happened. Uh, yeah, the delay in their response, their delay in hiding it, uh, their inability to report the entirety of it, uh, all contributed to it spreading not just in China but worldwide. If it becomes a worldwide problem, if it really picks up steam, it's totally the Chinese government's fault for suppressing this. Uh, yeah. The unrepentant cough on the non-believers. From Padre Speaks, these people have no souls. Robbie don't care. One Wuhan special coming right up. Shrek. From Glow in the Dark, propagandists and Chinese commie shills are the only ones pushing. Don't worry, this is just a flu. Luckily, Asians are more susceptible to Corona Chan than other races. So silver lining, I guess. Yeah, I, again, I can't confirm a lot of this stuff, but I did see it was circulating that, uh, Maybe it was even from the Lancet that Asians were more susceptible or they were having more severe symptoms, but I don't know. There's so much shit up in the air right now, it's hard to keep track of. I just try to focus in on the numbers, even the fake numbers, which are soon going to surpass SARS. From Deathstalker, stay safe from the Awu flu. From Walrus Aurelius, 20 bodies uh, a day for one of, and that sounds a bit low. From MAC 1134, also the Doomsday Clock is 100 seconds till midnight. Check out the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. From my 7 Sen 95 uh, Bubos, phlegm, blood and guts, boils, boogie, rot and pus, blisters, fevers, weeping sores. From your wounds, the fester pours. Praise be to Grandfather Nurgle. From Tidai 4453, are they using Hall of Cost tech to burn all those bodies? I'm not sure what they're doing exactly. Uh, it's a video up on YouTube if you go and track down her Twitter account. Um, I do believe it's subtitled, so you get the translation. 
uh, about him talking about the crematoriums, people's body, you know, bodies being burned. Uh, but again, I, 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 <laughs> I can't confirm or deny whether that's an accurate report. From Brandon, I called it on the last stream. The new hospitals are just giant crematoriums painted to look like hospitals. Lots of cookies being made in Wuhan. From AJ Snipe, is this how China will end the Hong Kong protest? Well, I'd say they're doing it ass fucking backwards if that's the, the route they're going. Considering Hong Kong's got like 10 cases, <laughs> China's got like 7,000. So that's kind of a big whoopsie on their part. Theodore McCarthy, uh, you have to bribe docs in China to get good treatment. And the Chinese attack docs if they think their family members get poor service. Yeah, the infected spitting on people will be a thing. Just a normal bottle of mustard. Anyone remember what the left is or left for dead virus was called? The green flu. From Toast Bill Clinton, infections are set to hit 115 million in a month. Now, I have seen a, a chart going around that was uh, a speculative guess. <clears throat> oh, God, I'm coughing. Oh, shit, here it comes. Uh, there was a speculative guess on how high it was going to be by like, I think it ended at like February 20th. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's, it, if it keeps that momentum. It's been ahead of the curve now for the last seven days. You know, I, it's saying for tomorrow, it should be around 10,000. I think it'll probably be more around like 9,200. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, from Glow in the Dark, Eugene's been spamming 4chan with, it's just a flu. He gets around. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. Like Otto Mati, I think we all need to face facts. Damon X Machina just sucks. Resident Evil 5 Mercenaries on No Mercy is still rocking. From Pop, Phaser Corn, Pop, Wu Flu Kung Fu gets you sick and bruises you. Uncle Who is better than you because his flu fu is too fucking coo. <laughs> oh, 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 where, where do we go there? Yeah, I'm a koofer. I'm koofing. It's, it's uh, press F. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, she got me. She got me, guys. I think I think what's been going on is every night when I go to sleep, Jade sneaks in the room and she coughs on me. It's all deep cover shit. And she got me. From a James Beanick, try new bat flavored car cough. Feel it or feel it in your lungs. From Jacob Kilgore. My dad is a contractor for China Southern, and he has to wear full hazmat suits while on the plane, and I'm honestly very worried about his health. Well <laughs> I would be too. I see a lot of F's in chat. I guess they're memorializing me. Thank you. Never forget. From Zoggle. I work next to a six-year-old Eugene. Should I leave him to his fate? Yes. When shit hits a fan, leave Eugene to his fate. Glow in the dark. Eugene and China Shields got me suspended from Twitter for spreading Corona Chan memes. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a lot of ass hurt uh, China Shields right now. From Lucid, <laughs> Lucid Tomata? I, I might have said that wrong. I'm in between Orange County and L.A., I'll record or stream societal breakdown as the virus burns through the homeless population. Please provide a witty commentary. I'll make sure to do that. From Fuzzy Wuzzy Got Milk. I work as a biohazard tech in Southern California. I'd rather off myself than get wooed. Death is preferable alternative to communism. From Butts the Ashtray Miner. But remember, Jim, free health care and open borders, Bernie 2020, hashtag my six godzillion. From Bob Jones, imagine being Chinese, lol, I'd rather kill myself. From Tism Train, how would it affect your religious beliefs or lack thereof if the dimensional merge actually occurred and you got to meet Sonichu? I would love to meet Sonichu. What a happy world that would be. With the crazy shit that goes on in Sonichu's reality, I would be down for that. From Moises R, just a cold, what are you cowards, never quarantined 50 million people for having the sniffles? Jack Pepsi, would you mind being the show host for the end times? Also, it's still only January. Yeah, shit's moving quick, isn't it? From Sean PK49, GT loves cock more than his crackhead X. From Shane Allen, smuggling biological material. Are we sure Nurgle isn't real and no such associated uh, cults exist? 
from Sempi Tram. That Chinese pussy must be fucking amazing. You would know, Jimbo. That I would. From Bill Dill. Woo's clues, woo's clues. Gonna put on a face mask, that's the first precaution. Load up our rifles, the infected we be stocking. From Logos, the first horseman of the apocalypse is pestilence. And in Revelation, it said that a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Corona is a Latin word for crown. There are no coincidences. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. From Mike Bob, this cucks at the doomsday clock are, it, or a clock are idiots. They set it closer to midnight after Trump's election, when he's involved us in less foreign wars than Obama and his husband. <laughs> from Lars Bookman. Jim, do you think there are any imported goods the U.S. gets from China that could be contaminated with the virus? Think of how many things are made in China. That I have no idea. They're, 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 like, the information they're releasing so far is just so minimal. It's, it's like nobody has any idea of uh, what the fuck is going on. I mean, yeah, they said contact, a close contact, close proximity, skin to skin. And they said droplets, which I'm assuming means it's uh, airborne. I mean, it's sneezed on. But, like, I don't know what's the distance. I don't know how long that shit, or shit lives out in the open. <laughs> I have no clue. Uh, from Road Warrior 2, shameless self-plug, I actually uh, scan late a manga called Killing Bites. If you liked Bloody Roar or just enjoy fun, campy, violent action, uh, manga in general, I recommend it. Got to do something to pass the time before Corona Chan kisses us all goodnight. Again, that is uh, called Killing Bites. Well, all right, I'll check it out. From Mark Salmonfink, Ching Chong Nip Virus Strong. From Retrend, watch. It'll get swept up in a few months. The Chinese have the cure. It's bioweapon testing with the added bonus of calling their unruly populace. Now, what country would be stupid enough to test a bioweapon on themselves for a few months and cause this amount of economic damage? That is some big brain shit, if I had to be honest with you. From Peter Pete, FBI caught Chinese military scientists stealing 21 vials. From Alan B. Stard, MP, Charles M. Lieber, born 1959 as a Jewish-American chemist, Dr. Lieber was charged in a criminal complaint for failure to disclose Chinese government funding in his research. Source, Wikipedia. From David H., you know what they call bats, chicken of the cave. From Gregory Kalajij. Okay, you're going to tell me how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Coulage. There we go. You stupid potato ginger. Well, I'm glad you put it up because I didn't get it right at all, did I? Whoops, switched a couple letters there. Thanks, Google. Can you play Blue's Clues for the outro? Taiwan, number one. You know what? I'll play Blue's Clues for the outro. Uh, glow in the dark. Been playing Pandemic a lot recently. Once infection reaches 10,000s, it's nearly impossible to stop the infection from spreading. Too many points of possible transmission. From Star Rasp. Mmm, bat soup. Rub it. Oh, no, I'm coughing. Oh, I'm going to cough. I'm <laughs> coughing. From Johnny Depressed. Unrelated, but have you been keeping up with the Onision situation? It's been wild. I, I vaguely paid attention to it, but not, not super closely. From Cyprus, weird how despite supposedly low numbers of infected, that every bug person leaving from Wuhan to another country somehow infects someone. From MaxMax871, if it gets serious, we might see an exodus of some Chinese to, American, uh, to America to their American houses. From Redacted, Western Australia is fine. All the sodomites over east, and God knows it. Black Cube Mystery. Does anyone have, or does any non-Asian have the Wu flu, or do you think that the Nip screwed up the sequence of their bioweapon only to infect other Asians instead of vice versa? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I, I think that uh, it's either Germany or France, four people that aren't, aren't Chinese or from Wuhan uh, ended up getting it. A couple Japanese, well, Japanese or Asian... Yes, there are there are some white people that have it right now. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, but y y it would be a bit silly if they made a bioweapon and <laughs> it only kills them. That's some Darwin Award-winning shit, really. Uh, from Nithril. This entire scenario reminds me of this anime where the main character has a big sword. Did he, by chance, get fucked in the butt by a black guy? From Dale D., Anyone returning to Australia are now being quarantined in an offshore refugee camp. Yeah, I heard. <laughs> they sent them... Was it Christmas Island? They sent them to fucking Christmas Island, wasn't it? 
Uh, Max Max 871, what the fuck is the anime? Uh, from Captain Texas 1, hey Jim, am I a bad person to want this shit to be an outbreak here in America so half of the urbanites die, saving Texas from turning into California too? Uh, well, it is an interesting approach, but I, I don't know. If society breaks down at a certain level, if you get enough people that get sick or enough people that die, I mean, that shit doesn't go back to normal the next day. <laughs> you know, oh, what I... I I, I, I think there's a certain threshold where once too many people die, things get miserable for everybody. Uh, Mike D, that feeling when you realize that Douglas MacArthur was right to want to nuke the Chinese when we had a chance. Now they're going to kill us all. What the fuck? From Sword and Scales, Jim, should we stock up on water or bullets? I'd say stock up on both. You're going to want a 90-day a supply of water and as many bullets as you can hold. From uh, Sarko, or I'm sorry, Baracko Gaia, have you noticed people seem too accepting of this? Like they just don't give a fuck they might die. Of course, irony being what it is. I just lost 100 pounds and now this happens. At least I can outrun the zombies. You know, I think people are just suffering burnout. I, I, I'd i almost say it's partially, at least in the West, because of the impeachment. I mean, they, they hammered this impeachment shit for like three months. And from what I understand, network ratings are in the toilet because just nobody gives a fuck. And I think people are just, they're burnt out on news stories in general uh because they've been hammered with that shit for three months uh so now here comes the woof flu and they're still they're still like oh well oh we're all gonna die from a disease okay whatever that would be my guess uh the red pill nation can you end the stream with the song forces by susumo hirawasa very good time or end time song well i already already planned it or promised it for something else so i not not on this one uh, from Maxi Murray Ride 039. Hey, Jim. My sister is a lab tech in the Midwest. She already has emails from the CDC about the Wu flu and testing for it. It's just the sniffles, though. From Slate Garner and Metal Gear Phantom Pain. Their weapon to surpass Metal Gear was a vocal cord parasite, which infected people that could speak certain languages. Good thing I don't speak bad eater like Eric Ding. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, from You Rail Nubas. Uh, B943, Jim, did you hear about the theory that the coronavirus was designed to kill old people so that the Chinese government won't have to pay them their pensions? Unconfirmed for now, but heinous if true. Well, I'll give you a conspiracy. I'll, I'll up your conspiracy theory. Imagine creating a bioweapon that killed off old people but didn't kill children. In fact, imagine a bioweapon that used children as carriers to kill their parents. Now, why would you do that? Because children are more susceptible to propaganda and brainwashing. So you kill off the parents and then raise the kids as commies. Maybe that was the plan. We'll, we'll spread the disease, infect all the kids, the kids get all their parents killed, then we come in and save them and raise them to be good little communists. <laughs> Maybe that's the goal. I've won up to your conspiracy theory. From Morgan Earp, if it hits Israel, it'll be 200 million dead. No, wait, 300. No, wait, 500. From Vokan Do Dinuk, if this is the end, I gotta get me some of these Chinese pussy. That's so good. You take that a bribe, that's one tenth of what you're gonna be paid to be a traitor to your country. From the Loric Project, the Chinese love Las Vegas. I was there last year at this time and I could barely find an American. There were so many Chinese. From Bumper 3241, Philip DeFranco is a fucking Eugene. Watch the 27th show, Maflu Kills More. From Apocalypse Lemon. CZ-659, Southern China, or China Southern Airlines, flight from Wuhan to Pazland on the 28th. From Adrian-22, paused and gift built. Glow in the dark, worst possible case scenario, Corona Chan, lingers in the air for a few minutes, uh, like pollen. Thus, someone could walk into Corona Chan with no one's around. Probably why China is crop dusting the cities with sanitizer. Matthew Smith, some six-year-old just died in Chinatown, Australia from a heart attack. People refused to give them CPR because they didn't want to get the virus. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess that is one of the side effects or one of the secondary phenomena of something like this is people with their, you know, other medical emergencies are going to be rendered less aid uh, because people are going to be in survival mode or paranoid, um, at least in countries where, uh, you know, you can be a good Samaritan and not get sued. I, I know there are issues in certain Asian countries, if you're a good Samaritan, you can get you get sued even if you try to help somebody. Uh, in Western countries, that's not really the case. 
from Legato Mati, won't someone think of the children? Maybe DSP. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. You want that? You want that DSP clip? All right. All right. Since you brought it up, let me let me see if I can get it. Where is it? Where are you, DSP? I masturbated in front of thousands of children. Thousands of children. Thousands of them. Is so stupid. Okay. From Retrend, Prince Andrew gets all the detained toddlers. Oh, is that is that the deal? Is he the one taking them all? <laughs> uh, from Port Film Co-op, Meat Bone Express Film Podcast. Rock and Sato every day gets close to Fallout. Call Liberty Prime. From uh, NYC Soul Seventeen, I work at Home Depot and people were coming in buying masks. Tried to explain to them that our mass would do literally nothing to help them. No dice. Delta Dan, the Umbrella Corp is turning this friggin' frogs gay. From Victor Phantasm Boss, how can we watch your streams in the post-apocalypse? Maybe Dog will teach you smoke signals for a small cut of the regular berries. Uh, from Handy Colax, Jim, here's a solid compilation of Wuhan footage. Awesome, thank you for that. I'll use that on the next stream if I can get it. Oh. Uh, shit, did we just jump ahead? I might have just jumped ahead a little. From Chase Weiler, Big Digger Nick, I've never felt better to be an alcoholic redskin than I do now. From Baja, on a more positive note, there was a guy in the front row of WWE last Saturday with a sign that said, DSP is bankrupt. Yeah, I saw that, actually. Uh, from Bleach Drinker, I swear to God, if China kills us before we get RE3, uh, yeah, I know, it would suck, wouldn't it? Joe Rogaine, choose a bad time to start a war, or <laughs> to start wage cucking. I work at a gas station in Southern California, can't tell how many Asians I get waiting or wanting their Marlboro rights. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. Best of Ruck, Jim. Uh, well, best of Ruck to you. Uh, from Big Digger Nick. I'm being told that high temperatures and alcohol can thwart Corona, Chan. So I guess Australia is the safest place to be. Party at my place. From Fukov. My parents are heading to Taiwan tomorrow. They were going to go through China, but Chinese airlines delayed too long. I'm the mad one because I don't trust who's stats. P.S. That spear was a Naganata. Uh, well, I don't blame you for being... Uh, not for not trusting them. I don't trust them either, to be honest. I think who is sucking China's dick for some reason is weird. Port Film Co-op. What is your favorite Van Damme movie? Uh, what is the one where he he played his own twin? Wasn't there a Van Damme movie where he like he played twins? Uh, I'm almost certain there was. Apache Chief, you need to change the locks on Jade's cage and shackles, then hide the keys. That way she isn't breaking in and a wooing you in your sleep. Cable time, Jim. Take a look at your Twitter. Q0 blocked me, and I've never interacted with him. That clown really went and blocked all your followers or just me. For Forgot, what was that manga with a hero left on a mountain? I'm blanking on it right now. Uh, from Trues, one year... Oh, oh, um... That was, uh... Ah, uh, shit. It's like Sword King or something like that? It's uh, Yeah, it's a dude that reincarnates into another world, but uh, they fuck up, and he can't leave the starting zone, so he's stuck on a mountain for 23 years fighting enemies non-stop, day after day. You'd think he would have gone batshit crazy, but apparently not. Uh, from Hugh Mungus, Awoo, I'm coofing on you. Free fall, Cisco Food Delivery System is a Chinese company. Sean Turner, Jim, this is bad, but the 6 million Jews suffered far worse than 10 million all in one oven. Remember the 12 million. Joe Rogaine, that Chinese pussy got me dying of, <laughs> dying of viral plagues. From Vincent Bassano, came down with sickness mid-doomsday prep. Live in California. It's been or California. It's been real, sweetie squad. Radio ruin. Lol full, <laughs> lol full blast. Forever snubbed the gut for Jim. From Pen Ultima, can we get a GoFundMe to fund a neo -gen or neon Genesis Evangelion congratulations style parade to whomever develops a cure? <sighs> I don't know who do we get to play Shinji. I'll be honest. ZZ Tales. Uh, I'm in Colorado. Zero cases. Get 360. No scope Californians and Canadians. That's right. You take it. No GPS data. Corona Chan is just shreep paralysis dreaming that rants to make you cool. From level 20 uh, factorum. The bigger question is, what happens to Hampshire when the plague wipes us out? Well, Hampshire will be fine. It'll be living in... Those little hamsters are going to be totally fine, dude. Flaming TP. Check the lymphocytes. 350 million Wulongs. See you, Space Cowboy. From Seth Johnson. Please play The Scientist by Coldplay. From Eddie Dingle. Gonna miss you, Jim. Rip. 
from XTC of Thanking. My mother-in-law is a diabetic Karen saying, it's just the flu. Should I buy her a ticket to Wuhan? No, you should buy her a box of Franzia so she shuts up. Because uh, <laughs> Karens love boxed wine. From the Gasify, bat soup is only popular because of a pun. Bat and luck are apparently very similar words in Chinese. So they eat it to gain luck. Joe Rogaine, bat bath so delicious, woo. Make station wagons great again. Can't scream racist when you can't breathe. Oh, that's very true. CZ Tales, I have a cold. Lorac Project, I have an Israeli military gas mask. Of, am, I, am I safe? Well, if you've got a military grade or, uh, gas mask, I'm going to assume you're probably going to be pretty okay. Uh, King Denominator, death toll for U.S. to just uh, to just start nuking things. I, I don't know what it would have to be. I'm going to I'm going to guess tens of millions. From Red Matter, there's a suspected case of woo flu in my town or hometown of Nigeria Falls. Here, here's a shekel for you. Oh, best of luck. From re or R Z E D R R Z E Q D W. I work at this major tech company. My friend has been a regular sick, not a woo flu, since Monday, and they will not allow her to work from the office. They're taking this pretty seriously. I I would imagine a lot are. Matthew Smith, airlines are stopping flights to mainland China. Uh, that they are. Mario Carter 13, protagonist of your life, written by Junji Ito. From Sus, I'm losing, inter er, I'm losing interest in being a teacher. I'm from Minnesota. From Jason Weaver, me, Jim. Okay. Citation needed. We're shoveling all day long. From Trues, no more China, no more Blizzard and Todd Howard create, er, catering to the Chinese market. Will we get better games when China is gone, Daddy? Well, no, because nobody will be around to pay Todd Howard to make shit. Sean Turner. Do you play uh, Kenshi, Jim? Kenshi is going to be real. From Tuxero, I have yellow fever and a necrophilia fetish. Is a flight to Wuhan my best bet to fulfill my dreams? Yes, it is. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Make them a reality. From Jacob. Oh, no, I hope no one flies from Wuhan to Tel Aviv. That would be heartbreaking. From Angry Emu. Let's hope the disease hits Jigville and Jewville. <laughs> From Mr. Problematic, bring out your dad. Bring out your dad. He's coming for you, Jim. The man with no face. From Melon Senpai, oh shit, Jim, I missed the stream. Email me a copy, will ya? From Gree People, Jack Ma donated $14 million to the vaccine cause. It's just a cold, bro. Fuzzy Wuzzy got milk. SCP remixed by Chang31ing. You worthless weebs and your dirty animus should have been contained. From Chase Weiler, update. The Xanax hasn't done shit, but give me the hiccups. A disappointment since my friend makes him or says it made him all numb. From Callie Leclerc, play the song Rats by Ghost. It's a banger and it's about the plague. Also, the dancing in the music video is a banger. Shout out to my wonderful shit poster boyfriend, Joel. Love you, honey bun. From Oog Cat, I think Eugene might start freaking out at 6 million dead, Jimbo. It's just a flu, fella. No need to panic. From Christopher Harrington, at least 40,000 infected from my friend in who? Are they keeping that on the down low, are they? From Apache Chief, only the smooth taste of camel can keep the Wu-Tang flu at bay. Smoke up. From Jack Cool, Jim, that Kenyan farmer could be your Greta, Greta Grub business partner, your OG supplier. Holy shit, you're right. I need to get a hold of this guy. From Sugna Baby, a Chinese man died of cardiac arrest. At, okay, I think I caught up to that. I almost caught up completely now. There's a few more here. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. From Eric Falkenhayn, 351 round trip to Beijing. Seriously considering it, I think it would be pretty cool to have a M or I think it would be cool. I have an M50 mask. I'm safe, right? Actually, I don't know. I I didn't even know really about N95s and P100s. Now you're asking me about M's and all these letters. They get confusing. Blue Satoshi. An early 4chan rumor suggested the Wu flu was intended to be used on Hong Kong and later Taiwan, so they could un, so they could invade. Under the premise of containment. Glow in the dark. Who being paid off by China? Shinji, obviously, Eugene. It isn't the flu, Eugene. From Sword and Scale. Bat broth is better than can serades. <laughs> I don't... I don't... Again, I just... I don't understand what's compelling them to... Why would you go with that as the cover story? Why, of all things, eating bats? From Dale. Hello, Jim and chat. Can I get a hello folk salad nation? From Slate Garner, 
What was the anime manga movie that the guy walking down the hallway that got smaller and smaller when he had to turn sideways and open his mouth? Oh, shit. Now, I, I, I can't remember that. Now, it was a horror film. I think it's 2015. Uh, it's Japanese. It's about a guy that dies and goes to hell, essentially. Uh, and it's some pretty, pretty good stuff for what seemed like a low-budget short indie film. Uh, from Schwanz Gruberman. Hi, Jim. Check out the meme video I made about the Wu flu on Twitter. Same username if you haven't seen it already. Brulio Cornholio. I'm late. Late. Take my shekels, though, Jim. From Joe Rogaine. Choose a bad time to start. Wage. Okay. Now we are caught up, I believe. Oh, one last one. Janeska Merrill. You missed mine about the UN at Yale, Boomer. I'm sorry if I missed some. Again, this new layout, if, you, if you're streaming on YouTube now, they don't let you do events anymore. And they don't even let you do, like, the old Super Chat layout thing. It's all in this one little hub thing, and it's shit. Um, I don't know why YouTube keeps changing stuff up. It's really annoying. Uh, Garlic Red, sorry, Jim, didn't give a link. Here you go. And that's the link to the Twitter. All right, chat, hopefully you all survive it. By tomorrow, we will have surpassed the numbers of, or a number of SARS infections uh, worldwide. Remember, SARS took between six to eight months to rate, or reach over 8,000 infections. The Wu flu, the coronavirus that we're dealing, and Cove, whatever you want to call it, that we're dealing with right now, has done that in a week. 60 million under quarantine, 15 cities under lockdown, 17 countries infected, 12,000 critical cases and rising. Eugene, though, as he's told us before, it's just the flu. So we just need to just, you need to relax. Just the flu. Uh, now, somebody wanted Blue's Clues as a remix on the way out. Let's do it. Let's do Blue's Clues Remax on the way out. If I can, if I can find it, because we've got to find what's going on here. You know what? I'll. You know what? I'm gonna leave up as the image. <laughs> there we go. Remember, we've got to find these clues of what's going on. What is going on here? I'll do the outro too. There we go. All right. I. Th I think this is the right one. All right. Have a good one, chat, and I will, <clears throat> I'll probably uh, probably do a stream tomorrow once we hit the uh, goal line, but uh, who knows? Stay safe out there. Do